One of the first things we learn as an early child is our ABCs, the basic building block for knowledge in all forms of communication. But as we age and become home and business owners, our language must grow and adapt to include something new, a language that includes LABTR. Local Ad Valorum Tax Reduction, or LABTR, was born back in the mid-1930s. It began with the state of Kansas sending excess sales tax dollars to the counties to help stabilize and lower property taxes during the Great Depression. The concept was memorialized statutorily in 1965 by KSA 79-2959, which transferred a percentage of the total state sales and compensating use tax as well as the local share of cigarette stamp taxes and cereal malt beverage taxes to local governments. Considered a demand transfer, two payments were made based on the formula set in statute. Then, during the 1970s, other revenue sources to help ease the property tax burden were introduced. The state took over collecting revenue from liquor by the drink and other taxes. In exchange, the state agreed to return those funds to the county in the form of various state aid, including LABTR and the County and City Revenue Sharing Fund, also called CCRS. All throughout the 1990s, the state tinkered with the amounts that they sent to the counties, sometimes adjusting it up and sometimes pushing it down. Then, in the early 2000s, something changed. For 2001 and 2002, the state legislature allocated 10% less than what the statute required. And then for 2003, they allocated less than half of the statutory 62.4 million. Then, for 2004, there was no allocation made by the legislature to fund LABTR at all. And during the 2004 session, the legislature opted to extend a moratorium on payments through the 2005 fiscal year. The 2005 Kansas legislature doubled up, avoiding payments in the 2006 and 2007 fiscal years. And with that, LABTR was gone. As a result of these actions between 2001 and 2022, Kansas municipalities have lost over $1.7 billion in revenue from LAVTR alone. Likewise, they have also lost an additional $1.3 billion in CCRS funding and over $400 million in transfers to the County City Highway Fund. In total, over $3.5 billion in revenue that was to be provided by the state has disappeared, revenue that has been made up at the local level mostly through property tax increases. It has been 20 years since LAVTR was last funded. However, on March 28, 2023, LAVTR was openly and readily debated on the Kansas House floor as a potential budget amendment to the 2024 state budget. Today's proposed amendment would fully fund LAVTR for the first time since 2000. The vote is not about the myths of what LAVTR is or isn't. Instead, it is about providing true property tax relief, something that all Kansans have been asking for. The amendment was proposed by the House Minority Leader, and it passed, decisively, by a vote count of 83 to 40, with a mixture of Republicans and Democrats voting for the measure from urban, suburban, and rural areas, the amendment enjoyed wide support. So why, ultimately, did LABTR not get included in the budget? It comes down to leadership support. None of the House Majority Party leadership supported the amendment, and there is little momentum in the Senate to move LAVTR funding forward. That narrative must change. It is time that concerned citizens send a message to elected officials advocating for true property tax assistance. But how? First, by leading the discussion. Most Kansans don't know what LAVTR is, they have no reason to know since it essentially has not existed for two decades. So we must talk about LAVTR and make it more than just alphabet soup to the average Kansan. Next, we need to educate. In essence, when LAVTR dollars are not returned to the county, we as taxpayers are paying the same tax twice. Once in the store when we purchase the goods and then again to the county through property tax collections. However, we must be honest about the expectations of LAVTR. It is not a silver bullet that will magically save individual Kansans hundreds of dollars in property taxes. It will, however, reduce the county and city budget dollars that they can collect dollar for dollar. 
Finally, become an advocate. We must advocate for why county government should receive LAVTR funds. The purpose of LAVTR is not to fund local government. The purpose is to help offset the property tax burden. Remember, the original purpose of LAVTR was to bring stability and help lower the property tax collections. Advocating for LAVTR means explaining how your county will benefit from the funding to reduce the property tax burden. The journey away from LAVTR took 20 years. We don't know how long the journey back may take, but it's a journey worth making. If you have questions or want to learn more about LAVTR, feel free to reach out to KAC and be sure to check out our website for more tools to help tell your LAVTR story.